Alright, so today we're leaving to Panama, which is kind of a bit far away, but not really because Costa Rica is not that big. But uh, I just gotta go south till I hit the border, and I just gotta find out which bus takes me there. Here's the deal, guys. From here, I have to take a bus to Kepo. Here's the deal, guys. From here, Hako, I have to take a bus to Kepo. And then from Kepo, I take another bus to the border, which is called Canoas. And from Canoas, I gotta take another bus into David, which is in Panama. And then from David, I gotta take another bus to Boquete, which is like an hour away from David. And all of this is gonna take like all day probably, like 10 hours. And once I get to David, I'll see if I go to Boquete. If it's too dark and it's too late, I'll just stay in David. But if, uh, if it's all right, I'll just keep going to Boquete. And once I get to Boquete, I'll be there for two, three days. And then I'll go to uh, Santiago for the carnival. Oh man, I got really lucky. I almost forgot that you need like uh, a proof that you're leaving the country. So you need like a ticket. So you need like an airplane ticket or like a bus ticket saying that you're leaving Panama before you can go in. And I almost forgot to print it out. But I got lucky because here's the bus stop. And there's like a, a copy center over there. So I just went and printed it out. If I wouldn't have printed that out, then at the border, they make you uh, buy a ticket, like a bus ticket or a plane ticket, and before you can come in. So that would have been so expensive. And I probably would have never used that ticket too. So it would have been a waste of money. So yeah, those, those were dudes. I've been standing here on this bus station, this bus stop, and I've been asked twice, like, where am I going? What's my name for prostitutes? And those two that just walked by, those were dudes, and they were prostitutes. I believe those are coconut farms. So I'm gonna be cutting this real close because the bus, I'm in Kepos right now, which is a town in between Hako and the border. And the bus doesn't come here till four, the one that takes me to the border. So I'll be on the, I'll be at the border like around seven, which is 7 p.m., which is gonna be dark. And then from there, I have to go to uh, David, which is in Panama, which is another hour, two hours. So right now I have two hours to kill. So I'm just gonna go around this town. Not too far because this backpack is really heavy. No way. Segway tours. That's something I haven't seen. This place looks very local. <laughs> Should probably go back to the station. I'm running out of time because I'll get to the border around 7 p.m. And then from 7 p.m. I have to take the bus to David, David. And that's gonna be like two hours, so seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna be there really late. And I really don't like to be out late. And it's gonna be David. I don't know how safe David is. I don't know what kind of city it is. I don't know if it's touristy or what, but I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to end up taking a taxi and that's gonna be expensive and uh, whatever. But I found a hostel, so. Now, one of the things I like about the buses here in Costa Rica are that they're nice buses. Most of Central America and a little bit of Mexico, they have school buses from the US, which are crap. So this bus you see right here is like a regular bus here in Costa Rica. And they're also nicely labeled, so when they come, you know where it goes because the sign says exactly where they're going to. So there's a rest stop before we get to the border. 
so I'm just gonna get some food. This stop that we made is like in the middle of the jungle. And you can hear everything in the jungle. It's actually pretty noisy. I gotta say, Ticos, Costa Ricans, they're pretty organized. They do things right. All the buildings or the houses, they're built right. Even if they're poor, they just build them the right way. Which is pretty, I like, I like that about here. Very organized, very well done, everything. We'll see how Panama is. So this is the exit from Costa Rica. Alright, so I got the exit stamp. Now I gotta cross to Panama and get my entry stamp. This is a very unsecure border. It's not that it's uh, insecure, but like there's just a bunch of people walking around. Most borders there's like gates and not everyone can walk around it. But here's just like people everywhere. I think people even live around here. And they're fixing it now. They tried to convince the lady to, convince, uh, to fix it. I, am, I don't want to be. Uh, so I met these guys from New York who are traveling. The same thing I'm doing, but they're cool because they're traveling on an ambulance. And they're going to give me a ride. We're here at the border still. So we're inside the ambulance. I don't know if you guys heard me outside, but these guys are traveling throughout Central and South America on an ambulance. And I just met them here at the border. And they're from New York. Really cool peeps. What's your name, dude? Uh, Stefan. Stefan. I'm Seren. Seren, nice yeah. to meet you. Mike? Mike. He's a resident photographer. Oh, okay. How are you guys documenting this? Are you guys having a blog or Oh, yeah, there's a blog. Some people write, some people take photos. Uh, we're more active on Facebook than anything else. So, hey, what's your name? My name's Seren. Seren, and what do you do? I travel everywhere. You travel everywhere? Yeah. And uh, why? Well, lately I'm a YouTuber, so I'm... I upload videos every day and I'm trying to go all the way to the World Cup so I'm going from Denver all the way down to Brazil Oh, to Brazil? Really? Oh, that's interesting Huh ah. And you're just doing YouTube videos every day Yeah So you guys will be on my video for tomorrow Oh, fantastic! We are looking forward to seeing that So was that a trip or what? Those were very nice people giving me a ride and stuff Here's a hostel now, it's called Bamboo and they dropped me off right at the entrance which is very nice, very nice indeed mm -hmm. No, mine.